Hi, my name is Michelle Daly and I am the Director for the Alliance for Inclusive Education. Happy birthday, Alfie, and congratulations on all your achievements made over the past 30 years. Alfie is the only national disabled people's organisation led by disabled people leading the campaign for inclusive education in mainstream education to be considered as a human right for all disabled people in the UK. Before I continue, it is important I give recognition to Micheline Mason, the founder of Alfie, who started the fight, which at the time was to give her disabled daughter the right to be educated in her local mainstream school and not be denied ordinary life experiences within the local community. It is also important that I give recognition to Tara Flood, who took over Micheline and was to successfully lead Alfie for the next 13 years. I now want to focus on Alfie's achievements. Alfie successfully presented evidence to the UN Disability Committee for the scrutiny of the UK government. The committee highlighted the UK government's failings to implement all convention articles, particular Article 24, which supports inclusive education. Over the next 30 years, Alfie has not just opened the conversation about structural injustice and inequalities within our education system that shuts disabled people out of mainstream education. We have also demonstrated our utmost commitment for inclusive education within the mainstream education for all disabled people to be a legal right. Alfie has been successful in being on the front line when nobody else was and continues not to shy away from the front line while our education system remains segregated. This year, Alfie presented over 100,000 signatures to Downing Street in support of our campaign to stop shutting disabled people out of mainstream education. The handing in of our petition was supported by Shadow MP Marsha Cordova. We have seen great successes through the Inclusion Champion Project, which focuses on capacity building to work with disabled children and young people and their families. And there are many more successes. Why is Alfie's work so important to our human rights? We have an education system that is damaging and creating lasting impact of segregation. Because of the earliest point in our lives, we teach and give children permission to treat others differently through the practices of segregation. The practice of segregation of disabled people has been normalised and considered as perfectly okay. As a new director of Alfie, I can only hope that we are not still campaigning another 30 more years for inclusive education. I can only hope that we have radical change to bring an end to disabled people being shut out of mainstream education and all other forms of segregation in all areas of our life. And finally, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone for joining Alfie's month of November birthday celebration for your contributions and comments, retweeting our posts and sharing our hashtag. I also want to give a huge thank you to Alfie's previous directors, staff, volunteers, trustees, allies, sister disabled people's organisations, funders, donors, and anyone else I've missed out for supporting Alfie's work for the past 30 years. Happy birthday, Alfie, and continue the fight.